Kat Lee Hong or Catherine Lee Hong. I'm a junior media arts student at the University of South Carolina. Oh, um, before I opened up for Melissa Villan, I don't know how to say her last name. I do have a boyfriend actually. It's the first time in four years and it feels super good to say that without lying. And <laughs> This is Carolina Productions' uh, performance, and it was of a woman who did mostly impressions, and I really appreciated that, because we don't see a lot of that out here. I wish that uh, it was towards the beginning of the semester, because that's when I was a lot more familiar with my material. At this point in the semester, it's just all about school, and I've lost a lot of the performance I got over, um, over summer break. I don't think I'd have friends without comedy. Like, honestly, I find people who don't participate in the community a little bit boring. I find... I don't know, I really just enjoy making things up with people, getting animated, and just kind of doing that sort of thing. In the second semester of my freshman year, me and a couple of my really good friends founded an improv group after we didn't get into um, one of them, uh, Toast, which has been here for a really long time. We decided, hey, we want to practice, we want to get better. And uh, so we started this group. It's, it started off as a practice group under the name of Jam, but as we became our own thing, we decided, wait, it feels like we're just kind of like, oh, it goes on toast. No, we're our own thing now. So we became the overreactors. Starting an improv group is almost kind of a kitschy, kitschy sort of thing that a lot of people in their 20s do, but I think it's really valuable. It's, for me, comedy will always be a staple in my life. Um, it started freshman year, but before that, I was always an admirer, and I think I'm always going to carry that with me. All right, guys, so you've been listening to The Up and Adam uh -huh. with DJ Dick Sunshine. My, my co-host, Ryan, we met through um, the satirical news. We met through radio, but we also did the satirical newspaper news from last Thursday together. Having him as somebody to repartee with is really nice, and at this point, it's just gotten to be a lot easier at talking. Um, you know, whether or not I, I'm always active in the stand-up community, I'm always going to try to be, but if I'm not, um, it'll always be a part of my life.